This is the story of Nenebush and Nenebush's scabs. I love this story because it's so, it's so funny. It uh, really um, um, shows uh, how uh, crazy this uh, Nenebush is, the stuff he gets himself into. What he, he does some really, really crazy things. He's always um, looking for food. He's always looking for something that will fill up his belly. He decides that he's going to uh, go look for food. He comes on to the ducks that are out by the water. They're enjoying themselves. They're playing in the water and he decides to think of a way that he could uh, uh, entice them over and he um, gets over there by the shore and calls out to them to uh, come and play, come and have some fun. What about a dance? Let's make a dance. Let's have a fire dance. And so uh, they all, uh, they came and um, they uh, wanted to uh, say, okay, we'll, we'll play with you and uh, we'll come and uh, dance with you. And so they uh, started up a fire and, uh, and then he tells them, uh, there must be a way that I can trick them. He's into his mischievous ways again because that's what he does. He does a good job at just playing tricks on people. So he's got the fire going and he's got the ducks. And now he's telling them, dance. We're going to dance. But you have to close your eyes. <laughs> close your eyes and don't open. Don't open until I tell you. And so of course the ducks are closing their eyes and they're they're dancing around the fire and uh, having a great old time. And then that Nenebush, he comes along behind them and grabs each and every one of them and twists uh, their, their necks and um, he gets all of them. Not being very nice here, he's um, overdoing it. And so he gets all of them and then he puts them in the fire. He, um, he's going to roast them. He um, decides while he's waiting for his meal to get roasted and the ducks to be ready for, for his feast, he decides, well, he's gonna have a nap. He asked his, uh, his bottom, asked his bum, now you keep an eye on the food. Don't let them get overdone. I'm gonna have a little rest, a little shut eye and have a little nap. So he turns over, asks his bum to watch the fire, to watch the ducks. But of course, bum being bum, falls asleep too. And lo and behold, somebody was watching all along, saw the whole process, the dancing, the tricking, the ducks in the fire, getting roasted, decided to come along and pull everything out, all the ducks out, and just left the, um, the bones. Finally, Nenebush woke up and uh, he was going to enjoy his meal. No, that was not to be. He pulled out the, drum, the drumsticks, the, the bones, and there was nothing there. It was all burnt, it was all charcoal. Someone had come along and took his food, ate up his food, and just left the bare bones. Now they're all charcoal. He got mad at his bottom there. I told you to look after this. How come you didn't do that? And look what happened. We can't enjoy our meal. There's nothing to eat just for that. I'm going to punish you. <laughs> what a way to punish. He burnt his bum. Poor bottom got all burnt. And um, 
Next thing, <laughs> next thing you know, <laughs> he's off looking for more food. He's still hungry, of course. But then his bottom got all scabby and um, he's still mad at his bum. So he started um, pulling off uh, the scabs on his, uh, his bottom. And it was the birch tree that was wondering about him, that nene bush. He's always doing crazy things. Look at him with his scabby bum. And <laughs> nene bush saw that the birch tree was laughing at him and uh, making jokes about him. And so he got mad at him and um, started pulling his scabs off and throwing it at the birch tree. Well, lo and behold, this is what we call Nenebush's scab. It's, uh, it's a fungus, actually, from a birch tree. And uh, so that's how the birch tree got the fungus. It's very strong medicine, this fungus, this Nenebush's scab. I say it's uh, strong medicine because um, our fire keepers use it to start a fire. But it's also uh, medicine that you can use to, to drink as a um, detoxifier. And so there are many stories that Nenebush has shown us uh, of uh, different ways that we, uh, we can use uh, medicine. The value of that particular story is not just uh, about this, but it's also um, having to do with um, our behavior. And um, he overdid it. He was too greedy. He was not careful about how he uh, took, his, uh, took his food. He took the lives of all of those ducks that, that came and danced with him. He overindulged, I guess, is what I'm trying to say with that one. Thank you.